Thank you so much for this opportunity. We are going to talk about something which is very fashionable now. Rare earth elements. This is the buzz. Everybody is talking about it. Uh, globally, you see a lot of positioning on this. But I am here to demystify the entire context that this brings along with it. I have a short presentation, 10 12 slides. We will tell you where India is headed. I will teach you some simple chemistry. Just four elements I will teach you. Who we are and what we are up to and how this is going to give us strategic advantage as a nation. GMDC is a state government owned PSU. Uh, speaking in government of India terms, it is a Navaratna. Along with what we do, this is a journey that we have begun. We plan to develop the first and only rare earth elements hub in the country. All of you have this. There are so many of these rare earths and they do so many things. But why it is strategically important is it will go towards making a permanent magnet. A regular magnet would be the size of this stage. Itna bada hoga. You use rare earths and it becomes this size. So that is the principal aim that rare earths serve. You google it, you pinterest it, it will show variety of applications, variety of minerals going at different places. Yes, it is there relevant. But this is what the future is hinged on. Permanent magnets, extremely compact magnet which is going to power the energy transition. This is my second exhibit. I was born in 1978. So in 80s and 90s, this was a Walkman. Do you remember Walkman? How many speakers were there? Look at just look at these. What made it possible? The sh same shrinking thing. Rare earths going into magnets, making permanent magnets, which are essentially very good magnets in a very compact size. Need I say this? We are the fourth largest economy. But we are headed somewhere. Yes, you know this. You know this also. But how do you get there? Future is hinged on energy transition. Energy transition is hinged on electric vehicles and wind turbines. Again, itna bada magnet lagaoge, to gaadi chalegi, banegi nahi. It has to be extremely compact.
again people my age remember the first wind turbine that you saw wherever it was it had very low capacity and a huge size now do you see the size of the motor compressing the poles becoming longer the vanes becoming wider and longer why same thing the thing which compresses the magnets the matter the motors shrink ye hai rare earth ka secret sauce jadoo साइंस स्ट्रीम किस किस ने पढ़ी है अब मैं वो बात करूंगा कि साइंस स्ट्रीम पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं थी केमिस्ट्री तो सबने पढ़ी है एक पीरियोडिक टेबल होता था रिमेंबर पीरियोडिक टेबल के नीचे दो लाइनें होती थी एंड यू वुड कर्स कि अगर इसमें किसी मास्टर ने मुझे पूछ लिया ही डिजर्व टू बी शॉर्ट सो दो लाइन आर रेलिवेंट ना उसमें ऊपर वाली जो है ना they are rare earths and i am not going to speak about all of them i am going to speak about only four of them please repeat with me nd nd pr what are they repeat after me dy tb DYTB, which are these? I'll pick my phone again. To make a magnet this size become this size, you will probably need this much of NDPR and probably this much of. this much off and this much off that's it this is my presentation i'm not trying to belittle the thing i'm just trying to make you razor sharp focused on what is going to solve the problem for us these are these are unstable molecules they clump together they clump together with the radioactive ones also so separating them is difficult putting them to use again is difficult but they bring this phenomenal value whatever scenario you follow for the vehicles or the turbines somewhere in two decades ऑलमोस्ट देर थोड़ा ही फर्क है देर आर अदर्स ऑल्सो आई एम नॉट मेकिंग यू रिपीट दीज विच वॉज द फर्स्ट वन एन डी एन डी डी वाई डी वाई दैट्स इट नाउ दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट this is the nation's demand the entire nation's demand for ndpr and we are not speaking lakhs of tons or millions of tons kitni hai ye 1000 tons only so this is the demand again by 2050 both scenarios try to converge this is the entire nation's demand what kitne thousand ho raha hai these are not huge numbers but they are critical they are so critical that they can dislodge us from our journey gmdc with the support of government of india is going to build the first rare earth elements processing hub based on the anchor asset 
again based in Gujarat, which is one of the best rare earth element mines in the world. We have the world's eighth best asset, which the government of India, through its vehicle in government of Gujarat, is going to help take us towards Atmanirbhata. It will be mined, it will be processed, more on this later. We come from Gujarat, so we have a phrase, Ahmedabad to Mumbai we call our golden corridor. All the growth and industry is concentrated along this axis. So this is on this axis, the mine and first level of processing is on this side, the second level of processing and the estate is on the other side. There are number of highways, expressways, railway lines, high speed, so, so this is the golden corridor. The point being it is, now we didn't do anything, this probably we chose, here God has been kind. These are big ambitious numbers. Played well, this is how big the nation can play. We are a state-owned enterprise. Many colleagues from PSU Space are here. A few years ago, we started changing gears. Then, we were valued at quarter of a billion dollars. Now, we are valued at excess of two billion dollars. Uh, probably, uh, the world sees value in what we are doing. This is what we do. This is what we do at the moment and this is going to fuel our growth. This is what our company is going to build its future on. Both these elements, those these minerals are essential to energy transition. GMDC has the only upcoming new copper mine in India for the next decade. But Dinaj copper ka nahi hai, rare earths ka hai. Remember that access friends? So the mining and the first level of processing will happen close to the mine. So, so anybody from iron ore, 40, 60 percent hona chahiye na ore mein iron, yeh sara dead percent hai. So, a lot of rock has to be cut, reduce the volume, so that it can be shipped to the hedge chemical processing zone, where separation and refining can take place. Here, we are also the players and our tech partners will take it further down to making a magnet and further downstream. It's good to speak about yourself uh, in isolation and uh, we do it in, uh, a lot in government, Apni Peet Taptatali. So you have to contextualize the adventure that you are undertaking. So X, uh, our big neighbor, there are only two more experiments like this underway. Linus and the mountain pass is a work in progress. Our journey is in two phases. We are in India, it's extremely cost efficient. So these are the only three experiments of its kind which are going to come up in the next decade. This is how our hub is going to be. Serial number one is us. The anchor asset, the separation plant, 
which will fuel further downstreaming for the hub. Why I come to Gujarat? Do I need the, to read this out? We are on the Golden Corridor. This is one of the mo most open, progressive, industry-friendly states in the country. Who are we seeking to partner with? Yes, we need these people. But we need metal and alloy makers. We need electric motor manufacturers to take it downstream. But there is only one catch. Do it in India, do it for India, make the country self-sufficient. There are other rare earths also, lesser value, but not critical. Hence, I will limit myself to teaching you only about four gentlemen here. ND, DY, DY, ND, DY, that's it. So, uh, thankfully, India is blessed with these resources. Rare earths are not rare. They are everywhere. I sound like I'm uh, They are everywhere. The concentrations are low. They need to be mined where concentrations are in an economic value. That is it. We need this because the country cannot move on crutches. The country's strategic vision and goals cannot be compromised. And we must salute the vision of the great leader of the country who has visions of Atmanirbharata on a wide spectrum. And these strategic sectors also. Thank you so much.